Good morning vlog. Good morning everyone. It's your girl hair. Makeup is done. Hair is done. Um, I'm up early. I'm about to... <clears throat> I almost lost my voice. I'm about to head to my appointment to get laser hair removal. Yeah. A first for me, but I am so sick and tired of constantly shaving and waxing. I'm done with it. I ain't got time for it. So I want the hair permanently removed. So I'm going to a place not too far from me called Laser Away. I was a little skeptical only because I'm a dark skinned gal. And you know, some lasers aren't really good on dark skin. So I wanted to make sure that this place was specialized in all skin types, especially for myself. So I went ahead there for my appointment that's at um, 12 noon. So I did my makeup and everything early because I wanted to vlog, obviously. And yeah, happy Monday. Happy freaking Monday. A lot has been on my mind lately. A lot. And boy, oh boy, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I guess I'll start by the first thing that's on my mind is living in New York City is becoming really expensive. And I'm over it. I'm about to be 31 this year, 31. And to be honest, I'm ready for a slower pace of life. I'll just say that I'm, I'm ready for a slower life. And when I say slower, I want peace. I want peace in my life. I don't wanna constantly walk around New York City and feel like someone is gonna rob me or feel like I gotta constantly be on the edge. I'm ready to actually live with people, a community. I'm ready for real friends, real food. I'm ready to have that sense of belonging. Because, again, New York City is massive. It's really big. There's a borough, there's a place for any and everybody in New York City. But I feel like for 10 years I've been living here, I just haven't been able to quite get it and I've, I've done everything I lived in Brooklyn I'm now living in Manhattan I've been there done that and I've I've outgrown it there's nothing here in New York City keeping me bounded so I'm now considering living in Europe I'm, I'm ready to start a new life I'm ready to live my rom-com moment. I'm ready for all that. Like I feel like I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely not growing in New York City anymore. I don't. I don't. Feel, I don't think I am. It's just. I just feel so stationed here. Like I'm just here. There's no one keeping me here. I can pretty much work remote. Yeah. Like, why is it so expensive to live here? I pay so much money to live here in Manhattan. I pay about $4,000 a month for this studio apartment. I literally pay $4,000 a month. Can you believe that? That's highway robbery. Oh wait, let me add on top of that. For health insurance, I pay about nine hundred dollars a month. Ooh, for health insurance. So that's forty nine hundred dollars a month coming out of my pocket. Yeah, and. I was just looking at other places around the globe, Portugal, Italy. You could get a nice one bedroom, two bedroom in Italy for $1,100. Portugal, same, maybe less. And I'm sitting here like this. Huh, why am I paying this much in New York City for nothing, for crap food, awful people, violence is here as high, the city's becoming very unsafe. I feel unsafe. I'm a young, hot gal. 
So I gotta constantly clutch my pearls, wash my back, make sure no one's behind me or following me. I don't know. It's just I want something different now. I'm I'm ready to move on from this place. I'm ready to move on. And I've been having these thoughts about this for years. And this isn't been like a very like oh spontaneous thing. I've been feeling this way for years. But it's only now that I've been very like fast with it, fast paced with it. So yeah. Anyway, I will continue this tangent a little later. I need So I totally forgot it was President's Day. I went down there and they were closed. But that's okay. I'm headed now to my appointment for laser hair removal. Once I find my purse, we can go. Okay. Where's my purse? Ah. Perfection. I think maybe I'll wear my big purse instead of the small one. Mm. Just like I have space to throw my camera in there. Yeah, I think I'll bring my big purse. I need to go to the bathroom. But I'm not gonna do all that. Go when I come back. Anyway, let me do all this. Literally, this is how I switch my purses. I just dip everything in here. Perfection. God, I really gotta go to the bathroom. Holy moly. I'll be right back. Okay. This is so pretty. And this one also makes me love the city. It's just like, it's so much to do when there's actual things to do. But winter in New York is a brutal. But when it's pretty, it's pretty. Right now I feel like I'm in a scene from Home Alone. Let me show you. So nice, the park just looks so pretty. Ah, oh, gotta love it. Y'all, I'm here. Woo! Okay, is, 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 is that, that's all numb it? Yeah, I know. Okay, why are we doing the first song? What? Why are we doing the first part first? Well, it's the it's Woo! Not it's not gonna. Nobody, you guys nobody told me this was gonna hurt. Oh my god, and this is gonna last what, five minutes, ten minutes? Yeah. God damn. And wait, is, does it do the back as well? Yeah. The back actually, the, the blue one doesn't actually hurt. Yeah. Is there anything else? Oh my god, y'all. First of all, why didn't anyone tell me that was going to be that brutal? Uh-uh. Okay, so you could tell I am not in Soho. A girl moved on and I am in Herald Square because the store I usually go to is so packed and it's President's Day so you know everybody in the grandma's outside. I ain't got time for that. 
So I'm trying to go to my favorite store, which is a little farther from my location, from my house. That's, I mean, my apartment. <laughs> house, child, what is that? From my apartment, because I, I ain't got time to be in the store mingling and yada, yada, yada. I, look, I ain't got time for all that. I'm, I'm busy. So, I went to this location that I know is very quiet. Not many people will be there. And not many people know me there, which is great. Because I get to shop in peace. <sighs> anyway, what a long, long day. Actually, a long two days. A lot has been on my mind recently. Because I, I, I know in the next few months or year, I have to make a decision. I have to make a very life-changing decision whether or not I want to stay in New York City or move to a whole nother place. Or just actually not even move anywhere. I want to live across the globe. Like I don't care for living in Manhattan anymore. I've outgrown it. Child. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm almost at my store. We're gonna do a little shot. A little retail therapy always clears the mind, at least for me. So let's do a little retail shopping today and see what we can find. The first place I'm going to is called Aritzia. It's one of my favorite places to go to. I always like to go there, get some pieces. And the best part about this place is that it's very just like an everyday kind of store. Everyday clothes such as tops, pants, very basic. And I like basic clothing because they're timeless. Okay, I think it's this way, yeah. Okay, I am back home and a girl snatched the wig off. I was tired. So I wasn't, I was in Ritzia. I found a few things that I liked. And I came home and realized that I had a package. I forgot that I ordered this amazing, gorgeous, well-structured blazer from House of CB. And I have the skirt to go with it because it's giving that very like old money Italian vibe that I was going for. So I'm actually really happy that this came in the mail. I totally forgot that I purchased this. But yes, I got this amazing blazer. It's cute. I can't wait to put it on with the skirt that goes with it. It's a very long skirt, so yeah. So that's one. Let me show you the other things I bought. I got from Aritzia. I didn't get much, but I found a cute few pieces. I got this cute, let me get some light in there. I got this cute halter top shirt. Let me go in the light. Uh, ooh, hiccups. Uh. I got this cute halter top it's like a nice satin silk material this is her really cute it's a champagne color love it and then i got another corset it's like a gorgeous purple pinkish color it's absolutely stunning color really really pretty and i've got a simple black dress just a simple black dress um i thought about maybe styling this with um, styling it with a cute sweater or a nice blazer with these kind of dresses they're so easy to pair with anything that's why I like Aritzia because I can buy basic pieces like this and just have and have it as a staple in my wardrobe it's gorgeous it's very slim on the waist love that and you could dress it up dress it down wear some sneakers with a nice chunky sweater. <laughs> Love that. So yeah, these are the pieces that I got. Oh wait, I totally forgot this. So I bought this dress yesterday. How gorgeous is this dress? It's a pretty bubblegum flirty pink set a silk dress it's not real silk i don't think it wasn't made out of because it ain't giving real silk i'll tell you that i don't know but this is her 
Oh, it just screams luxury. It's soft. It's girly. It's feminine. And those are the things I like. Girly and feminine. And that's what we're going for. Obsessed. The one thing I hate the most is hanging out in my apartment with a full face of makeup, especially when I just came from outside. A girl was gonna wash her face. Let me set you guys up. Oh, I'm gonna wash my face. I like to use this a lot. This is my favorite kind of like uh, makeup remover to start. Dilly Danley here. And let me see. Oh, love this kill 24 hour facial cream. Amazing. I like to put this on throughout the day. Definitely keeps my face hydrated for sure. Definitely a day cream for me. Cause at night I wear like the heavy, the heavy stuff for at night. But during the day, I don't do too much. Keep it simple, done. I will get that fixed. Okay. Actually, I have to go to the bathroom. Y'all can wait there. As you can see, a gal is in the city and hit it to Verizon because I am sick of AT&T. I am literally sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. So I'm switching over my plan to Verizon and let's hope that this works. Um, anyway, let me get this out my face. Zoom out. Anyway, so uh, it's gonna be a long day. I got all my gear with me. I'm going to be filming some content today. I couldn't decide on what hairstyle I wanted to do, but I went with, you know, Eclair, that's her name, Eclair. Ah, so I'm currently downtown in Midtown, a little close. But here is the city of New York. Yeah. Okay. So I made it back to Verizon. I'm going to look for some assistance and I'll be back. Decides to show up. This shit is hot. Oh, no. I did buy a towel. How about you sit down? Cause you're not gonna walk and eat pizza, are you? I was. For what? It's to help it cool down. It's cooler outside. Huh? Salt and pepper? Oh, we want to get Oh, 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 the restaurant salt and pepper. <laughs> oh. Guys, we're at salt and pepper restaurant. Say hi to this guy. He's over there. <laughs> Why don't you come to your centuries? Anyway. So Chris is gonna eat his slice of pizza or whatever. And then, oh, why my camera like this? So Chris is gonna eat his slice of pizza or whatever and then we're gonna shoot content. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Minutos. One of those. So, we're in B&H. I was getting a gimbal, which is not here anymore. And it just, it just didn't work out. I don't know how to work a gimbal. What, it was the Ronin? Basically rocket science. It's not rocket science. That's the hardest thing ever. Okay, so now we're gonna look at something else. Mm. Hi guys. So pretty much yesterday, I went to bed. I was so exhausted, so tired, and didn't really film the rest of the day. I promise I'm gonna get better. Um, anyway, I'm going to close out this video. Oh, I look a mess, hold on. Anyway, I'm gonna close out this video for now because I have a lot to edit. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know the drill. 
if you enjoyed this video definitely be vocal in the comments and let me know what else you would like to see because a girl was in the spirit of giving you know yes so uh yeah do that that'll be great and the reason why i'm getting back into youtube is because i want to become like a travel a travel content creator a travel content creator if that makes sense i enjoy traveling so much i'm a i'm, I'm a lot more adventurous a lot more i don't know in the mood to content create when i'm in a different environment so that's the purpose of me get back on youtube because i want to take you guys with me on all my journeys because it's so fun uh yeah so let's do this again and i have a trip coming up with tarte yeah i'm going to bora bora with tarte cosmetics and i will be vlogging all of that i will not be leaving anything out okay so definitely stay tuned for that anyway love you guys